Welcome back everyone, my name is Joel Feld and today I want to talk about how not to use iCloud Photos and more specifically how to choose a device that you do not want to sync your iCloud Photos to or altogether turn off iCloud Photos for all of your devices and delete all of your iCloud Photos. Here we go. So you might be wondering why someone would want to delete all of their iCloud photos or maybe not have your photographs synchronized from one device to another. Now keep in mind that iCloud is designed to synchronize and keep all of your devices on the same page. And if you're not familiar with iCloud all that much, I have a couple other videos that I will reference and I'll link down below. So check those out. But naturally, I typically focus on photographs and videos because a lot of people have an iPhone and they're always taking pictures and videos and that information is often syncing to other devices that they have, maybe an iPad or a Mac, and devices can fill up pretty quickly with the storage and then you run out of storage either physically on that device or iCloud is running out of storage. So this video, I wanna cover the topic of actually just turning off iCloud photos on one particular device so that those pictures don't sync to that device, as well as just turning off iCloud photos altogether. Because I have seen a lot of comments where people are just possibly frustrated with iCloud photos and they just don't wanna use it at all anymore. They literally just wanna delete everything and just not use it. So I'll show you how to do that too. So starting off, I have an Apple computer, I have an iPad and an iPhone, and they're all signed in with the same Apple ID. And I wanna demonstrate how things are designed to work, and then we can slowly peel back the settings to essentially not include devices. So I'm gonna start on the Mac here. I'm gonna go up to the Apple and choose System Settings so that you can see that I'm currently logged in with my Apple ID of joel.feld at iCloud.com. This is important because this is how all of the devices know how to communicate with one another. So if I go to the same exact location on my phone, I'm gonna to go to settings, scroll all the way to the top and touch Joel Feld, and you'll notice it's the same Apple ID. I'm gonna to go to my iPad here, touch settings, notice in the top left I have Joel Feld, and looking on the right hand side, joel.feld at iCloud.com. So same Apple ID, same iCloud account, logged into all three of these devices. Now, if I select iCloud on all of them, and then if I select Photos, you'll notice that Photos is syncing and turned on for all of these devices. So on my Mac, it says sync this Mac. On the phone, it says sync this iPhone. And on the iPad, it says sync this iPad. So as of right now, with being logged into the same Apple ID and having this setting turned on, this is how it's designed to work. So I'm gonna exit out of the settings for all of these devices. We'll close out of system settings here. I'm gonna open up photos on the Mac. I'm gonna open up photos on my phone and I'm gonna open up photos on my iPad. Let's select library in the top left on the Mac and I'm gonna scroll all the way down towards the bottom and you'll notice it says 39 photos and three videos. If I look at the same thing on my phone, it says 39 photos, three videos and scroll down on the iPad. Again, 39 photos three videos. Also, you have to keep in mind, even though I have three devices here, I need to go out to iCloud.com, sign in with that same Apple ID, because remember, iCloud is part of this too. When you take a photograph from your phone, it's shooting up to iCloud, and then that photograph is coming down to your Mac, as well as your iPad, and any other device that you're signed in with that setting. So we'll sign in here, it gives me the two-factor authentication, which I'm Gonna choose not now for trusting it. All right, and I'm gonna just click on photos here. And again, library selected on the left and you'll notice 39 videos or photos and three videos. Okay, so here is how Apple Photos is designed to work. Let's say that you're out and about on your phone. I open up the camera. I'm gonna take a picture of my hard drive here. All right, I'm gonna exit out of the camera, go to photos, and here's that photograph. Notice it says it's syncing one item to iCloud. So right now from the phone, that picture is being pushed and copied up to iCloud. iCloud is now saying, hey, you have a Mac and an iPad that are using the same account with iCloud photos on. Perfect, I'm going to send that photograph to all devices. 
Now, the same is true if you delete a photograph. So if you delete a photograph from any of these locations, it's going to be deleted from all of your devices. So if I go on the iPad here, select this hard drive picture and touch delete, it's now gonna take a moment for it to synchronize up to iCloud. And in a moment here, that photograph will be deleted from Apple Photos here on the computer. It'll be deleted from iCloud.com and it will be deleted on my phone as well. And sometimes it can take a moment. So let's just refresh iCloud.com here. There we go. So it's deleted from the iCloud, it deleted from Apple Photos, and in a moment here, it should then be deleted also from the phone. Now notice on the phone, last synced four minutes ago, so it can take a couple minutes. There's no rhyme or reason of the length of time. Sometimes it's like instant, and sometimes it's like 10 minutes later, and, and you scratch your head asking yourself, why does it take so long to sync? I guess there could be lots of variables, internet speed, size of the file, so on and so forth. So as you can see, it synchronizes everywhere. And if I were to take this iPad here, same concept, I could go, same concept, I'll come around here. Oop, camera's on that side. I'll take a picture of this uh, camera and my Google pin. There we go. All right. So now that photograph is going to sync up to iCloud and it should appear there and then it should also then come to apple photos as well as my iphone here so the whole point is you know icloud is designed to keep all of your devices on the same page it's not designed to be an extended storage where everything gets stored on icloud but nothing happens on your device it doesn't free up the space necessarily on your device so a lot of times people will get frustrated because their icloud gets filled or their iPhone gets filled and so they start deleting stuff and then it deletes everywhere. So notice the photograph showed up on Apple Photos, it showed up on iCloud.com and in a moment here it will show up on the iPhone as well. So back to the point of the video, let's say that we don't want these pictures and or videos to do this. We don't want them to sync everywhere. Maybe I only want the photographs and videos from my iPhone to sync to my computer. I don't want it to sync to my iPad. So the way that you tell it not to do that is you exit, uh, we'll exit out of photos. We'll go to the settings in on my iPad. We'll touch my Apple ID. We'll go to iCloud and then touch photos. And this is where I toggle the switch off to say sync this iPad and we want to turn that off. So now what it says is, hey, do you want to download these photos and videos to your iPad? Photos and videos that have been optimized to save space will be removed from this iPad. The original full versions will still be available on other devices using iCloud. Now this is where it does throw a little wrench in the, the system here. The optimization, I do have some other videos that are extremely important about optimizing storage on your phone, iPad and or Mac. But long story short, let me touch cancel here. It's referring to this message right here. Optimize iPad storage and download and keep originals. You see your iPad or iPhone or Mac could be a 500 gigabytes. It could be 128 gigabytes worth of storage on here but your iCloud could be up to two terabytes. So what this is, what this means is, if I'm taking a whole bunch of photographs and I constantly keep on uploading them to iCloud, I may not have enough physical storage to hold all of those photographs on my iPhone or iPad. So Apple gives you the option to say, optimize iPad storage or optimize iPhone storage or optimize Mac storage. So that way, any photographs and videos that aren't used within 30 days, it actually only keeps them in iCloud and it doesn't download the full quality photo or video to your device. The pros to that is you have access still to all of your photographs and videos, even though you don't have enough physical storage, but you need internet in order to download that content to view it. So that would be a downfall of it. So when I turn this off, because this option was set to optimize iPad storage, it's saying, hey, uh, because you're disconnecting it from iCloud, 
you have the ability to download them or don't download them and you're only gonna be left with what is optimized on this iPad. So naturally, I'm going to say download photos and videos because I don't have that many photos and videos in this iCloud account and it will download to the iPad. Now, if you don't have enough storage for it, if I have 50 gigabytes worth of, of storage or 500 gigabytes worth of photos and videos in iCloud and I don't have that space here, it's not going to be able to do it. And often that is the key where people start to lose photos and videos because we don't understand this feature. So that's why I always recommend have your photos and videos stored either to a computer, you can sync it to a Mac and PC, and you can even connect it to an external hard drive so that you can expand how much photos you have. That was a long explanation. It can be a little confusing. Not gonna lie. So I'm gonna choose download photos and videos and you'll notice it gives me a status downloading six originals and it's going to eventually download all of that to the iPad. So if I exit out of here, go back to photos, you'll notice down here at the bottom downloading five originals and it's just going to count down until everything is downloaded and then that toggle switch will be off. Depending on your internet speed and how big these files are, this could take days weeks it really depends and if you don't have enough storage on here well that's just gonna throw another hurdle into it so it looks like it's done if we jump back to settings and notice toggle switch is off and this device now is completely excluded from any photo or videos that are being synced amongst iCloud now I do have this other option down here at the bottom that says shared albums those are just other albums that people share with me it's not part of my iCloud storage and actually shared albums don't take up any iCloud storage, but I can turn that off as well. If I do that, it'll say turning off shared albums will delete all shared photos from your iPad. And so I can touch okay. You can always toggle that one on later if you need to. But if I touch back on iCloud now, notice the category for photos now says off. So I'm no longer syncing anything related to photos to this iPad. Now, if I exit out of here, go back to photos, you'll notice everything has downloaded, everything is still here, but that's because I had enough physical storage to allow it to download. So if you don't have enough storage, you could run into that hurdle. Now, if I go back to settings on my iPad, you can still see that other features of iCloud are still toggled on. And if I touch show all under apps using iCloud, I can see that it's still synchronizing all of this information. So you have the ability to toggle these on or off to say, no, I do not want to sync this particular uh, feature or contacts or reminders or Safari bookmarks. You can choose whether you want to synchronize it or not synchronize it just by toggling these on and off. Just know that when you toggle them off, there's a good chance it's going to remove that information or prompt you with a message to remove that information from this device. So now that iCloud Photos has been turned off on the iPad, here's what should happen. I should be able to go on my phone now, take a photograph. We'll just take one of my mic here. Go to Photos. So that photograph should sync up to iCloud. We should see it on Apple Photos here on the computer and iCloud.com, but that photograph should not come to this iPad because we've told it not to be involved with the syncing aspect of things. As you can see, nothing on the iPad. It doesn't give us any indicator of syncing because what is here only lives on this device but we have it on the Apple Photos here as well as iCloud. And again, it works the same way. If I delete it from the computer here, it's going to prompt me saying it's gonna delete it from all devices and it disappears off my phone and off, off my phone. A little accent there, I don't know. It deletes it off of my phone as well as iCloud.com. Now, at any given time, you could go back to your other device. I could go back to settings and I could go back to my iCloud and choose photos and I could toggle this on. And by turning that on, it's just gonna jump right back on the bandwagon, see any changes that have been made and download any new photographs. Notice the status says syncing, we'll exit out of here. We'll go back to Apple Photos or photos on the iPad. So we just wait for it to sync. We take another photograph here. 
Uh, let's take a picture of our trip to Israel. We got some uh, cool camels. Couldn't think of the name. Let's go back to photos. So now that picture is going to upload into iCloud. It'll send it over to Apple Photos, iCloud, and that photograph should show up here on the iPad as well. Pretty quick with those two. It could take a little bit longer on the iPad because it has to re-index and redo everything. So don't be surprised if you toggle it off and toggle it back on that it could take a while for it to get back on board with everything. But trust the process, it will eventually do that even though it can be extremely annoying waiting. While that waits, now let's take the concept of you wanna completely get rid of everything associated with photos and videos in iCloud. I've seen a lot of uh, different forums and different videos where they say you need to go into Apple Photos or go to iCloud and select all the pictures and press delete and all of that. Even though it works, you don't really have to do that. All you need to do is go into the settings of iCloud and turn off and delete iCloud photos. So here's how you do that. On the phone here, if I swipe up, we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go back to Apple iCloud. We're gonna choose iCloud. We're gonna go to photos, and then we're gonna to touch manage storage. When I do that, it gives me the ability to turn off and delete from iCloud. So it says, turn off iCloud photos on all of your devices. You'll have 30 days to download your photos and videos from iCloud. After that 30 day time period, it deletes all the photographs and videos in your iCloud. It's completely gone. All of your other information like contacts, calendars, reminders, that'll be there, but your photos and everything will be deleted. Now that same setting lives here on the Mac. If I go to Apple, choose system settings, we'll select my Apple ID, we'll go to iCloud, and naturally you would think you'd go to photos, but this is just where we have that toggle switch on and off. So instead, we go to manage account storage up here, and then we have photographs or photos here. And this is where I have the ability to turn off and delete from iCloud. So again, it prompts us the same thing. If you want to stop using iCloud Photos and recover your iCloud storage, you can disable it on all of your devices. You then have 30 days to download the photos and videos to your Photos app. This disables it, and the same option would be on the iPad. Granted, it is still synchronizing and playing catch up, but if I go out of here, touch into settings, go to manage storage under the iCloud photo settings, I have the ability to turn it off. It's the same exact as the iPhone. So let's see what happens when we do this. I will do it from the phone. It really doesn't matter what device you do it from. So I'm gonna say turn off and delete. Some of your photos and videos stored in iCloud are not downloaded to this phone because they've been optimized. The photos will be permanently deleted from iCloud in 30 days. To avoid losing them, choose download and keep originals in photo settings before continuing. So that's saying, hey, go back to the photos and choose this download and keep originals. Same thing on my Mac. If I go to Apple Photos, click on photos in the top, go to settings and choose download originals to this Mac. Notice the moment that I check that, here in Apple Photos, it says downloading the originals. So you wanna make sure that you download all of your stuff before actually deleting it. I'm not too concerned about it because I'm gonna download them here on my Mac. So I'm gonna to touch manage storage and say turn off and delete. You could say learn more and this is just gonna bring you to their support article that says set up and use iCloud, all of that fun stuff. But I'm gonna to touch done here. So I'll turn off and say continue anyways. And again, prompts you one more time. Photos and videos will be deleted. Yes, thank you, I know. So I will choose delete. So now it doesn't look like anything happens, but it changes to recover iCloud photos on my phone here. But notice on my Mac, it says iCloud photos disabled. Photos and videos will be deleted from iCloud in 30 days. And I can click on settings and it brings me to that same location that we saw here. And notice photos, 
is no longer at the top it's actually down here at the bottom and it's taking up zero kilobytes now i do have the option to undo that so notice undo deletion on the mac and on the iphone it says recover icloud photos in that 30 day time frame i can undo what i did and it's gonna put all the photos and everything back to where it was and also if i go to icloud.com let's refresh the web page here You'll notice at the top now there's a new banner saying, hey, iCloud Photos has been disabled. You have 30 days remaining to make sure you have a complete copy of your photos and videos. Click on learn more and it's gonna bring you to the same exact support article. And from Apple Photos here, you can download all of your pictures and I can select a photograph and do that. I can do that with multiple photographs as well. But typically the easiest is to change the setting within Apple Photos or your phone or your iPad to download the originals, assuming that you have enough space to accommodate everything that's been up in the cloud. Now, if I go to my iPad here, notice managed storage, zero kilobytes. So it also knows that we're no longer using iCloud Photos and it's going to attempt to download all of those photographs down. So that is pretty much how you delete and remove and stop completely using iCloud Photos on all of your devices. Now, I will give you one trick that most people that I've talked to have no idea even exists. And this gives you the ability to actually migrate your photos from iCloud to a Google account. So if you are a fan of Google and Google Photos and you do not wanna use Apple iCloud Photos, you can actually migrate your entire iCloud Photos to Google. Let's check that out really quick. We're gonna go to appleid.apple.com. This is the easiest way to get to the location I'm showing you because I always forget what the URL is. So I'm gonna choose sign in. I'm going to not sign in with learn with Joel. We're gonna sign in with joel.fell.icloud.com because that's the account that we're using. Here, allow. All right, code 513, oops. Three, seven, eight, seven. So on Apple ID, and if you're not familiar with this web page, I actually have another video that discusses Apple ID versus iCloud, and honestly, they're pretty much the same. An iCloud account is an Apple ID, but this gives you options to manage your account, your security, your password, all of that good stuff. Now, when I'm logged into this page, I'm gonna click on privacy on the bottom left, and then I'm gonna scroll down, and this option for your data, I'm gonna click on this link that says manage your data. When I do that, I will type in my password, use my fingerprint on the laptop here. And this keeps on prompting up, prompting because I have not trusted this computer for two-factor authentication because I'm working on a video to do that, which will be done in the near future. So click done here. Okay, so privacy.apple.com. I'll link this down below. This is really kind of cool here. It tells you where, if you wanna permanently delete your account or deactivate your account, correct your data, get a copy of your data, transfer a copy of your data is what we're looking for. So here, if I click on request a transfer to copy your data, and here it says transfer a copy. Now, <sighs> I already turned off iCloud Photos. So here it's saying there's zero photos and zero videos, so I can't transfer anything. So let's, let's take a step back. Um, let's go back to iCloud settings here. We're going to undo what we just did. So we're gonna go to manage storage, go to photos, and we're gonna say undo deletion. And so now on the phone here, it'll say restoring from iCloud. On the Mac here, it'll say restoring from iCloud. And on the iPad, it'll also say restoring from iCloud. All right, so. I'm just gonna let that window sit here. Let's come back to the privacy. Let's click on back and go back to request a copy. Okay, now that I've restored it, it's now accessing iCloud Photos. So here I could say, select destination, choose Google Photos. And I can say, yep, I want all photos. I want all videos. So it's essentially a really easy way to take everything from iCloud and move it and copy it not move it, copy it, because they'll still stay in iCloud Photos, and go to Google Photos. So I'm gonna choose Continue here, and notice it says Google account must have 
X amount of storage available. I'll choose continue. So now it's gonna prompt me to say, okay, sign in with your Google account to allow this to happen. So I'm gonna sign in with learnwithjoelfeld at gmail.com. I have to accept the privacy to link them two together. So yes, I need to add the Google Photos library for Apple and I will choose continue. So then it's saying, okay, we're copying 41 photographs, three videos, and it's transferring to learnwithjoelfeld at gmail.com and it's coming from joel.feld at icloud.com. I can say confirm transfers. And this process does take up a long time. They say it takes between three and seven days and you can always check the status of the syncing from this link here. So if I click on this, I can see that the request was made today for photos and I can click on view details and it will essentially take time for it to go. Now, if I open up a new tab here and go to photos.google.com. So right now I have nothing in here, zero storage. This is a free account on Google. So eventually this will copy those photos over. So I will have to do a, a follow-up video. Of, uh, actually, I'm, I'm just gonna do a whole nother video on this topic so that we can see the end process of how it works. But long story short, you wait three to seven days, all of that stuff will magically appear in Google. And then if you really don't like iCloud Photos, you can move it quickly to Google Photos. Or if you just wanna be done with it all, delete iCloud Photos like we just did and just don't click the recover or the undo deletion. And then you won't have any photos more in the cloud. Now, when you do that transfer, it will send you an email also. So if I open up a new tab and go to iCloud.com, I'm gonna to go to my mail and you'll see that here I got an email saying that we will start copying the videos to your photo or to your Google Photos and then this other email saying we'll start copying your photos to Google Photos as well. So at any given time, you can go check the progress. If you do have iCloud Photos with a shared photo library, it will actually include those photographs as well. I've tested this a handful of times, but just know that you have to have enough Google Cloud storage to accommodate all of your iCloud storage. If the thought process is, I'm just gonna move over to Google because I don't wanna pay for iCloud storage, chances are you're gonna have to pay for Google storage if you're not gonna use iCloud for your photo storage, you still need to pay storage. So just keep that in mind, but you should get these emails as well. Oh, and you'll also get this email here saying you have 30 days to download all of your iCloud photos and you'll get that the moment that you disable and turn off and delete iCloud photos from any of your accounts. And remember, you just do that once on one device and it's gonna delete it from all of your devices. Whew, that was a long one. <sighs> all right, so that was, uh, that's iCloud photos. That's how to not use iCloud photos and that's also how to delete everything in iCloud photos if you truly want to do that. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. If you wanna support my channel, hit that thanks button. And if you wanna to continue to learn, hit that subscribe, tap that little bell, and we'll see you next time.